Well, hello there, all you foodies. Today, we're back at it again, showing you what to eat in Argentina, this time in the town of San Martin de los Andes in northern Patagonia. In today's food video, we'll show you that it is possible to take a break from all the steak and pasta by highlighting some fun yet healthy options like potato soup and shot glasses, a barley bowl with shrimp and grilled veggies, and a salmon and pumpkin wrap. But because old habits die hard, we're also going to take you out for some grilled steak a lo pobre and some plump ricotta ravioli in a cream and bacon sauce. I mean, after all, we are in Argentina. We'll then follow this up with afternoon tea in a cozy cabin atop a mountain where we'll feast on mini sandwiches, scones with cream and jam, and all sorts of baked goods and cakes. If this sounds appetizing, stick around for another edition of What to Eat in Argentina. Well guys, it's a Saturday. Very peaceful, quiet day to be out and about. Not a whole lot of people on the streets. And I was gonna say, maybe it's because it's still kind of early in the day, but it's not. It's already past noon, so that's no excuse. Um, but yeah, we're just walking on our way to a restaurant we spotted yesterday, which we're quite eager to try. Hopefully it's open. Well, we've arrived. We've arrived. The place is called Zen Tea. Yeah. And I filmed a little bit of the menu. Basically, it's like healthy food options that we haven't really had in a while. Like we've been going really heavy on the meats, the pastas, the, the pizzas, breads, the barbecue. Yes, the all Parisia. those carbs. And I mean, Argentine food is amazing, but we were just craving a little something different. So when we stumbled upon this place yesterday, we were like, <laughs> must come back. Yeah. They have really nice salad bowls with quinoa and bean sprouts and just different fresh veggies and ingredients and tofu and ugh, all the works. We didn't actually order salads though. I went for one of their walks. I think it's like yeah. with a barley base. Stir fry basically. Different veggies and I got shrimp on mine. Ooh. And I'm getting Ooh. a salmon wrap mm. with pumpkin, avocado and cream cheese. So it all sounds <laughs> it sounds so pretty amazing. Good. Yeah. Can't wait to try it. So we got a nice little yeah. appetizer on the house. In the house, mm -hmm. gotta love this. So it looks like some seasoned breadsticks, and then uh, he, the, the server came over and said, "This is a carrot dip with curry powder, Ooh. and there's some seeds on top." So. Yeah, it looks like sesame seeds. Ooh, chia it's seeds. thick. It's kind of like a hummus. Oh. Mm. oh. It's just so smooth. Oh, it's really nice. It's just light. Guys, we just got a shot of soup. Again, complimentary. How cool is that? Amazing. <laughs> so it's a potato, ginger, onion soup. Cheers, cheers. Cheers to that. And it's ching, warm. Ching. It is warm. That's one thing that surprised me when I grabbed a little shot glass. It's like, ooh. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be like a, a gazpacho, a cold soup, but yeah. it's not. What say mm. you? I love potato soup. I haven't had it in years. But it's just so nice on kind of like a chill day like today. And again, chia and sesame seeds over top very very nice i can't wait for the mains to arrive because this was all a surprise this thing of beauty look at the colors the presentation i am in love with this meal so this would be like a, a barley that's kind of like the base and then i got shrimp shrimp is. sauteed shrimp it's got like a soy based sauce a little bit salty mm. i have veggies zucchini eggplant carrots and so is it good Wonderful. Ooh, we got really lucky finding this place. Yeah, we just wandered as, as we were heading out to the to the lake to, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Saw it. We like saw the menu. And we're like, gotta try this nice, place. Nice, plump, juicy shrimp. I'm so pumped for this wrap. It sa has salmon. Mm -hmm. Check out all that salmon. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of cream cheese. There's pumpkin. Ooh. I think there's a little bit of zucchini mixed in there too. It looks wonderful. They had so many nice looking wraps Ooh. on the menu. Oh. It was hard choosing. Guys, there's so much salmon in there. Yeah. And it's so tender, flavorful. It's so nice having it with the pumpkin mash. Yeah. It's delicious. And you also got a bit of a side there. They give you some potatoes with mm -hmm. rosemary. They're so good. Those look good. Try some of that. Mm. I love how they've done the wrap too. It's like they've, it's just been grilled lightly on the outside. It's like got a toastiness to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our dishes had fish and seafood, but as an FYI, this restaurant has vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free options. That was such a good lunch. So nice to be eating light 
healthy meals we definitely want to go back there and the staff were so friendly and so chatty and excellent service so the total was 910 pesos which would be 21 us dollars for those two mains and then well the two complimentary items we got as well so yeah would definitely recommend it if you're here in town and you've been having too much pizza too much steak um, they're called Zen Tea, and yeah, we're ready to explore the town now. We are now walking towards the water, towards the lake, and when we were here yesterday, we noticed that they have a lot of food trucks, so maybe that's where we can get our little dessert. Do you have room for dessert? Oh, there's plenty of room for dessert. Always a room for something Always a room for that. time <sighs> three flavors the yes. largest portion they had the largest portion they had so this is what the, the forest berries no the strawberry with chocolate strawberry with chocolate that was my selection mm. oh it's got such a nice natural strawberry taste yeah with real chunks of fruit wow. in there it's amazing no. guys this is Bailey's Bailey's representing Ireland here isn't oh that my good gosh, it tastes like <laughs> it really Tastes like like literal Baileys yeah. has been used. And then Dulce de Leche Extremo. That's gonna have a, hopefully a strong taste. Oh yeah. That's got a nice oh yeah. it is extreme. And yeah, this is like artisanal, yes. homemade, handmade, delicious, wonderful yeah. ice cream. I'm Gotta we're, try it. We're right by the lake. Oh boy, is it ever windy. So windy. Apologies right now. if the audio is a little off. <laughs> <laughs> Now for something a little more hearty and filling, pasta and steak, two classic staples of the Argentine diet. The food has arrived, it looks amazing. The mains are here. I went for ravioli, mm -hmm. stuffed with ricotta, and a cream sauce with ham, chicken, walnuts. It's really good. The thing is, I've been sneaking bites while Sam is filming, so. Oh, I already know it's, it's good. It's guys. Audrey's dirty secret. I already know it's good. I'm always eating behind the scenes. When yeah. You're and Salou, we've watching. got Malbec from mm -hmm. Norton. This one is called Elegido, which means chosen. Yeah. Take a look, guys. <laughs> nice red. Yeah. And I love the presentation. They yeah. made a little rose out of carrots. Yes. How cool is that? You know what? I've already decided. I want to get dessert here too. This place is so good. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Like these are big dishes of food. I know, but we have a big hike tomorrow, so. Good luck, my friend. So Sam got the... Yes, I got the bife de chorizo a la pobre. Yeah. Which means with an egg. And yeah. you have caramelized And onions. it comes with a, a salsa, a criollo salsa. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a little bit of that right so, on top of the egg. Technically, a la pobre means poor, like the yes. poor style. But it's not very poor because it's like loaded with all these extra <laughs> ingredients. Exactly. So the name doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's very, very tasty. Yeah, and I asked for the meat to be jugoso. So. Yeah. Yeah, nice I can and tell juicy. It's juicy. Ooh, oh, look at that, guys. That's how we like it. That's how I like it. I'm just gonna get nice a manageable piece pink. here. It's a bit too big. I don't want to choke on it. Oh, look at a that, swimmy, guys. Swim, swim, swim. How's that? That's so juicy. Just how I asked for it. Delicious. And the egg just adds. You know, a little bit of extra flavor. Also, it has caramelized onions. Guys, yeah, look at that. can't forget that. They're hidden underneath the egg. So, there you go. Delicious food. And I'll get a dessert. <laughs> Don't forget that. Sam's already announcing, I'll get a dessert. This is pure gluttony right here. It That's is. all I can say. It is. So, we What's have. What's going on? We have homemade cheesecake with forest fruits, nice tiny coffee, which is basically an espresso. Let me try that first. Ooh. Let's hope you can get some shut eye tonight. Oh, that's a nice potent, very potent. Mm. Let's try the cake. It's a very nice looking cake. It has blackberries yeah. and raspberries on you top. You can tell it's dense. It's a cheesecake. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Oh, that's the real deal. Real none deal that, right there. None of that moussey cheesecake nonsense. That's nice and thick. Yeah. Dense cheesecake. I have to agree. That's how I like my cheesecake as well. That's how I want it. 
and it's really good. You're gonna love this. Oh, what a wonderful meal. What a meal. My gosh, it was good. I mean, I knew from that, like from the beginning, from the get-go, the appetizers, I'm like, wow, this is a little bit beyond normal to have like such a nice hummus dip. And then remember the bean, the garlicky bean dip? <laughs> the quality of the bread? Too. I'm like, oh, this is a good start. <laughs> and then the mains just got better. It was really oh. good. So the place is called Tio Paco. Yeah. And Sam thought it was Tio Tacos. <laughs> he thought it was gonna be Mexican food. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, sorry, but it guys. was that's really that's really naive. Wonderful yeah. steaks and pasta and we had red good wine. wine. It was so funny because our waiter Dave, hello Dave! Hey Dave, thanks for watches our videos. D Dave Dave was such a good waiter. I he mean was he awesome. was he was so friendly and he attentive but mm -hmm. he also um he served us at the end we had a complimentary cheesecake and coffee great meal great day oh my gosh i think it's time for bed yes so we're <laughs> gonna say goodbye and yep. find our way back home Ta -ta. Ta -ta. But not least, an English style afternoon tea in a cozy mountaintop cottage with beautiful views of Lake Lakar. Studying the menu, looking studiously at the menu. We're doing afternoon tea with a three tier tower of sandwiches, scones, cakes, one teapot each. It's gonna be good. Tea has arrived, guys. We each get beautiful. our own individual pots, the which pot look fantastic. With flowers. So I got Isabella, has a cardamom. It has cinnamon and it also has anise. Three of my favorite things. And for red tea. pepper. Pour it in like this? Yeah, so you put it in there okay. and then you just let it sit there for two to three minutes steeps. while it steeps. Steeps for three minutes. Color's already changing. Yeah, and for mine, I got the one that's called Francis. It means French, it's a type of green tea and it smelled very fruity and <laughs> floral, which I like. Yeah. And well, while the tea is being made, is being steeped, we've got this tower. Oh, food. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, there's so much to eat. So it's savories on the bottom. Savories on the bottom. Then big goods. Big goods. And then on top, the cakes. Two huge slices of cake. And we cake. also have jam and whipped cream. Cream. And I'll also mention what you can't finish. They pack it up in a little box for you to take home. <laughs> That's so awesome. Which I have a feeling we'll need we'll to do that. that. Yeah. yeah, there's no way we can pull that all out. So of course, we're starting at the bottom of our tower with sandwiches. Already grabbed this little guy. Nice and plump with ham, cheese, tomatoes, lettuce. Looks so good. Oh, very good. Currently feasting on a scone. So good. Nice and lemony. Put some cream on there. Strawberry jam. Yeah. Load it up. So the cream came from here. The jam over there. <laughs> uh -huh. Everything's been delicious so far. Sam will now be trying all yes. things Dulce de Leche yeah. over here. So we were each going to select three different uh, things from the pastry section. I'm like, I saw a theme of Dulce de Leche, so I'm like, that's what I'm going for. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite thing to have in Argentina. And um, yeah, it's amazing. So this is the classic Maicena. I don't think I've seen so much Dulce de Leche using that's out. That's a whole lot yeah. of filling. And over here, it appears to be a chocolate one. Yeah, looks good. Also delicious in the middle. I don't Coke. think I've ever had a chocolate one. Yeah, shredded coconut all around. Mm -hmm. And then I think this one might be coconut and dulce de leche. Mm. It is coconut cake with dulce de leche in the middle. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try the chocolate one. Mm. Oh, guys, look at that. Lots of filling. Tons of dulce de leche. Mm, decadent. Lots of coconut. Very decadent and a nice crumbly chocolate cookie. It's a rich chocolate taste. Now my all-time favorite, I'm gonna say no. How much does it look No, look at the size of that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's just the best. That's the best out of the three. Look at that magic. Twirl it around for us. Ooh, Isn't that good? There we go. Wow. Yes. Are you going strong or are you starting no. to hit a wall over the there? The struggle's real. I, I finished all three of those alpha horror products they're just too good and yeah i've had two sandwiches plus that and, and a lot of tea so i'm getting stuffed but there's always room for cheesecake always and this is a very thick slab i picked it up with my hand to transport it I was like, oh it's, it's like it's like a brick 
very dense. Um, this is how Sam behaves in restaurants. <laughs> yeah, and um, so there's berries. Let's try it. Too much Ooh. ramble, ramble. Those look like cherries. It dropped mm. one on the mm. way, didn't quite make the journey. Oh, it's so good and tart. This is the real deal. This is thick, thick cheesecake. How we like it. Yeah, it's full, but I do have room for this. <laughs> so we still ha we have spoils to take home. Mm -hmm. Lots to take home. Sandwich down here. These are the big goods. So good. And this is a piece so of cake. So much food. Are you gonna finish your cake? I'm tapping out. I'm gonna finish it in the cabin. <laughs> in the cabin. In the cabin. <laughs> Wonderful midi and thus slash afternoon tea and we are taking more sweets back to our place Yeah, I don't oh even my. think we ate half, no Close. I'd say like a third Close to a half. It was yeah, a I lot. Mean, it was a lot of food. Anyways, we've got dinner here yeah. as well as tomorrow's breakfast. Yeah. And the total was around 1300 pesos, which is 30 US dollars, 15 per person. Yeah. Which I'd say is pretty good for a beautiful setting. Yes. Lovely views of the lake, three tier afternoon tea and <laughs> food left over yeah. in case we're hungry later on. I'd so yeah. If you're going to have it, bring your appetite for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe skip breakfast. Mm -hmm. And that concludes our food tour around San Martin de los Andes. We hope this video gave you a few ideas of what you can eat in Argentina, and we'd love to know which of the dishes featured you'd be leaning more towards. Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we'll be back soon with more Patagonia videos and more food adventures. Bye.